Donald Trump just announced a, quote, historic agreement between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, and there are three things you should know about this. Number one, there is nothing historic or groundbreaking about this deal. The partnership between Israel and the UAE has been ongoing for many years now, with collaboration on intelligence and security, and even some diplomatic ties, with both countries seeing the containment of Iran's influence in the region as their primary joint strategic interest. All this deal does is make public a partnership that has long existed under the table. Number two, this deal does not stop Israel's annexation. The UAE's Mohammed bin Zayed claims that Israel has agreed to, quote, stop further annexation of Palestinian lands. Donald Trump has put it a little bit closer to the truth, saying that Israel has agreed to suspend declaring sovereignty over the West Bank. But let's be clear about two things. First, Israel has already annexed the occupied Palestinian West Bank and is imposing brutal oppression against Palestinians there. Merely suspending the declaration of a crime does not change the fact that the crime has already been committed. And second, the suspension of this annexation announcement has nothing to do with this deal. In fact, Israel had already suspended its annexation announcement long before this deal was reached, and it did so because it became clear that there would be grave international consequences for it, with US Democrats for the first time ever suggesting that USA to Israel should be conditioned if annexation moves forward. The UAE taking credit for this delay is really just a PR stunt to save face in a region where normalizing with Israel at the expense of Palestinian rights is very unpopular. Number three, true peace with the region requires freedom for Palestinians. Israel's occupation and apartheid in Palestine and its brutalization of Palestinians, which is condemned by every major human rights organization in the world, is extremely unpopular in a region that is in deep solidarity with the Palestinian quest for freedom. So no matter how many undemocratic governments that do not represent their people establish relations with Israel, Israel will never enjoy true normalization with the region until it lifts the boot of occupation and apartheid off the necks of Palestinians and allows them to live in the dignity and freedom they deserve.